Welcome. This is the third episode in our series, Research for the Future. In this episode, we will be talking about quantum dots. Quantum dots are super cool. Quantum dots are semiconductor nanoparticles ranging in size from 2 nanometers to 10 nanometers with lots of interesting applications. As semiconductors, it means that they have important applications in electronics in general. You have already <laughs> enjoyed some of the applications on TV screens and LED lamps, LED lamps. In the case of TV screens, they are called QLEDs. So the importance, the coolness of quantum dots could be appreciated by the fact that in 2023, the developers and discoverers of quantum dots were awarded the Nobel Prize in chemistry. And their applications continue to grow, even in biomedical sciences, in green energy, tumor, um, handling cancer tissues, and all that, because they can even be used as radio sensitizers. And that's what pushed us into research on quantum dots, leading to this publication from our research group, Fluorescence Intensity Modulation of Cadmium Selenium Zinc Sulfide Quantum Dots Assesses, reactive oxygen species during chemotherapy and radiotherapy for cancer cells. That's really long, but we basically try to use quantum dots for two things, radio sensitization to make cancer cells more radio sensitive during radiotherapy, and also to help them produce more ox reactive oxygen species or ROS to lead to better cure of cancer. We had to do that using a lot of physics, a lot of quantum physics. Here is Schrodinger's equation in three dimensions, which we had to solve, apply the so-called um, infinite square well potential to understand the properties of the quantum dot, including the energy band gap, the energy that is available uh, that leads to the emission of the lights that we see. So Schrodinger's equation in three dimensions solved computationally, applied to these quantum dots, leading to our understanding of the uh, properties and making use of them for biomedical sciences. So. We made this publication. You can read for yourself the details. I have it down below um, connected. There is a link there. So for the future, where we might things be going? Um, it's hard to tell, but you can be sure of this. Even in self-driving cars, as we speak, people are making use of quantum dots to provide cheap ways, cheaper ways, cheaper and more reliable ways of getting infrared vision yeah, for self-driving cars so that you can operate them even at night and things like that. So in the future, they will continue to be important in areas such as quantum computing, yeah, green energy technology, and in biomedical sciences, in biomedicine cancer cures, cancer um, diagnosis, and other applications in health. So quantum dots are super cool. Thank you for being here and watch out for more updates that have to do with cool research applications.